project is immensely complex. It's probably one of, one of the most complex projects that's actually running in Melbourne at the moment. So we've got major construction work happening below operating buildings. There's about 30,000 students and staff that visit the buildings. Um, in terms of the risks associated with that, the most important ones are associated with making sure that the site is safe for staff and students. The other is associated with making sure that the university continues to operate. So if there is a major issue in the construction site that impacts the university operations, it can have a major impact on um, the student's experience. Um, it has major financial ramifications to the university and there's also reputational issues that are associated with any kind of catastrophic event occurring because of the construction works. So the operational impact strategy document very early on called out key risks and issues that the stakeholders identified. It sets out how the university will operate after the construction is complete, how the university will operate during the construction and what it needs to do in preparation for the construction. There are effectively 25 contributors to that document. Each person takes ownership and accountability for their section. From that particular document, we then extracted out what we believed were the key risks associated with each of the stakeholders. So they would call things out um, and we would put those into the risk register and make sure that we had strategies in place, plans in place, and people accountable for managing those particular risks. The NAS project realised that they were doing construction and renovation works um, in and around and close to RMIT's uh, network fibre cables. The cables run throughout the university but there's certain parts of the NAS project where core fibre cable is located and after they uh, identified those uh, the project realised they needed to work out how we're going to treat this, uh, treat this risk. The risk was actually a university-wide operational risk. Basically the entire university would have been out from an ICT point of view. So no, no wired, no wireless, no telephones, no computers. So the first thing we did is we, we made sure we got a cross-section of what we call SMEs or subject matter experts to facilitate a risk assessment about this particular risk. This is the risk, because everybody agrees, everybody on the same page. What can we do to make sure that this risk doesn't eventuate? After the second session, we actually had it all on a report. What we also had was actions, specific actions assigned to IT people, property people, and also the construction project staff to make sure that they can mitigate the risk as much as possible. So a call had to be made at a certain point in time to hand over the, um, the buildings over to the NAS project. That call was dependent on whether there's a sufficient level of comfort um, that the cables won't be impacted. And if they are, we had a, a plan. The number one mitigation to this risk was for IT to have in place what's called diverse fibre paths. And essentially what that is, is if you accidentally impact one part of the network, another part of it comes live. So the logic is no impact or minimal impact to the university. These diverse fibre paths were being built at the same time as the NAS project was due to start in earnest. Therefore, um, they realised that there was a two week window where the buildings would be handed over to lend lease and we wouldn't have the diverse network fibre cable finished. So the second control, the main control from property's point of view, the construction was they put in place very careful risk-based protocols, um, which included lots of signage, people shadowing um, subcontractors, just to make sure for that two week period, they never went close to or did anything that would potentially impact those precious cables. Until that was all put in place, authority wasn't given to go ahead. Once that was put in place, uh, the sponsor of the project um, gave authority to go ahead and hand over the buildings.